All right, welcome to my channel, and here we will be working on the construction of orthographic views of this object. And if you're watching my video for the first time, I want to say thank you, and I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel as a technical drawing student. Put on notification bell, and whenever so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified, and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. So this is a practical subject; you need to practice it. So very, very important. But you practice it, you become a master at it. Um, as I said, we want to draw the orthographic views of this particular uh, isometric object, and we are asked to draw the block in first angle projection with the front elevation looking direction of arrow X. So this is arrow X. So the front view is what we are going to get when we look at this object in the direction of arrow X. So we are going to see this rectangle, and we we'll see the whole of this rectangle like this so this rectangle and this rectangle that we have here is what we want to produce at the front elevation and then uh if you look at what we have here we have a feature here in which this part is cut off so when we are looking at this object in this direction so this part is going to be hidden from us so let's see how this can be done so what we need to do first is to draw a horizontal uh horizontal line like this so we draw a horizontal line in this direction and then so we are going to um so we come here so we draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line like this then we are going to take the measurement of the distance from here to here so distance from here to here as given here is 40 millimeters so we take a measurement of 40 millimeters 40 millimeters okay so this is 40 millimeters i will draw a vertical line like this okay so now then for this big rectangle distance from here to here distance from here to here, they say from here to here is 15 and from here to here is 15 that is 30 so we take a measurement of 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters and we draw a horizontal line we draw a horizontal line so we also draw it to the right side so as you can see there now if you look at what we have here we have already gotten this big rectangle so what we need to do is to get this small rectangle now so distance from here to here is 15 and from here to here is 20 so what you need to do is to come here and you take 20 so that 20 is on this side so you take 20 this is 20 millimeters then on this side you take 15 millimeters so this is 15 millimeters so here we draw on this one we draw a vertical line draw a vertical line like this okay so here we draw a horizontal line so it goes to this side so okay so looking at what we have here so and um, you can see that the front view is almost done so we need to get this part which is hidden when we are looking at the object in this direction so distance from here to here decide it is 10 so we are going to 10 take 10 millimeters so we just come here and take 10 millimeters from here and we draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line like this okay all right so looking at what we have here so the front ele elevation is already there so let's bring it out so that i see what we have done so far so all we need to do is to make this line a thick line so we make this line a thick line to bring out the big rectangle so this line is also a thick line from here to here. So we also make this line a thick line. Okay. So then for a small rectangle, so this line is a thick line. This line is also a thick line. All right. So you can see it now. So and for the hidden part. So on the big on the big rectangle, so we have so 
draw this with short dashes line. All right, so that is the front view of the object as we have here. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the plan. So we need to extend these lines. We need to extend these lines. So we extend this. So we extend this a bit. We also extend these lines. Okay, so now, so what we need to do now is to move down a little bit and we draw horizontal line. So any distance, so you don't have to worry yourself with the distance. So any distance, so what we need to do next is to take the uh, the distance from here to here. From here to here. So distance from here to here is 40 and from here to here is 15. So that is 55. So we are going to take 55 millimeters. So this is 55 millimeters here. So here we draw horizontal line. We are going to draw horizontal line like this. Okay, so now, so after this, so we take the features that we have here. So we are going to draw this. So this time from here to here is 10. And from here to here is 10. So uh, from here to here, that means we have from here to here to be 20. And this time from here to here is 15. Then we first of all produce this sheep. So we first of all produce this sheep. So um, so we just need to come here. So we need to come here and take 40. So we take 40. So from here, take 40 millimeters down. So this is 40 millimeters here. Then we are going to take 10 up here and we'll take 10. Then up here and we'll take 10 down here. Okay, so here we are going to draw horizontal line. So here we draw horizontal line, and from here also we draw horizontal line. From here we draw horizontal line. So let's bring out that shape that I that we see around here. So let's bring out this shape here. It's already there. So let's bring it out. So this will be a tip line okay so also so this one will be a tip line here okay then we are going to make this a tip line okay so this is a tip line here this is also a tip line from here to here and this will be a tip line from here to here. Alright, so and then so we also make this a tick line. We also make this a tick line. So if you look at what we have here, so that shape is already out. That shape is already out. So what we have left is for this one. So okay, this is 10, it's not 15, it is 10 millimeters. So I have to change it here. So this one should be 10 millimeters not 15 so everything should be 15 so so i just draw so horizontal line here like this so then so that rectangle that we have down there that small rectangle so this is it okay so this gives us the plan so this is the plan of the object so as you can see here so this is it so this shape that we have here is what we have here and then this small rectangle here so we have it here as the top view of uh, the plan okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw the uh, end elevation so end elevation are we looking at the object we are looking at the object in this direction and we are going to see this rectangle this rectangle here this rectangle here and this rectangle those are the things that we are going to see in the end elevation so it's just simple so all you need to do is to take your 45 degree cell square so you set it at this point on the front elevation set it at this point on the front elevation and you draw a line in this direction okay draw a line in this direction okay so what we need to do now is to wherever the this line wherever this line touch the horizontal lines that we produce out of the 
plan we are going to draw a vertical line on each point so it touches it here it touches it at this point this point this point and this point so all these points we are going to draw vertical line from on each of the points so we take it up so coming here now, now so we draw a vertical line up okay so and at this point also we draw a vertical line so at this point we draw a vertical line this point we draw a vertical line and coming to the last point here we draw a vertical line okay so now so we come here so around here so the line it goes like this okay so uh from here so let's see what we have here so this line is a thick line so this line is a thick line this line is also a thick line this line is a thick line so all the lines from this point to this point will be a thick line but let's bring it out one by one so that we can get it so this rectangle here this rectangle that we have here, where do we have it we have it from here to here so all i need to do is to follow this line then i will go up here to this point so as we have it here so i'll go up to this point then the second point here which is this point that we have here so we move from here and so we get to this point and we'll come up here this point here so that is where we are going to have the rectangle this is it so the rectangle is like this okay so the second rectangle so if we go like this so we already have this point we go like this so we have this point so all i need to do is to make this a vertical line a thick line then for this one so we just go like this so we already have this point and we move like this so you go up here so this line will be a thick line like this okay and then so for the small rectangle that we have here so this is it so we just come to this point so from here to here so we have gotten the first the first point so the second point is what we are going to get it is here so we make this a thick line from here to here we have to follow this line here so this is it so all these lines from here to here will be thick lines are coming up here from here to here so from here to here will be thick lines and then this also will be a thick line here all right so this is how the front view will look like this is how it will look it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice very very simple so just follow the way i explained and you surely get it done thank you and keep on practicing